Hey, how's it going? I'm Nate, Apple enthusiast and Mac hardware technician. Today we're going to see how we can resolve syncing your iPod or iPhone when you don't have privileges to do so. One reason this might happen is if you've used another computer in the past to sync up your device. Also, another thing to ensure is before actually plugging in your iPod or iPhone, make sure that you've entered your passcode. That will give you privileges to actually sync it. If for some reason your passcode's in and you plug it in and you're still getting that issue, we might need to restore your iPod or iPhone. So one thing to note is if you have any media that you're concerned about or any photos, preserve those before doing the restore. The way to go about the restore is plug in the device to the computer using the cord you're given. iTunes should automatically load. If it doesn't, go ahead and click on the icon. Once in iTunes, the only screen you're going to get because you don't have privileges is the restore screen. So this is going to wipe your device but fix the problem allowing you to sync in the future. Go ahead and click on restore iPod or iPhone. This might take about 5 to 10 minutes. After this is done though, go ahead and try and use iTunes to sync up your music, movies, or other media you want to add to your device. After the restore, you should have the privileges you need to sync up your iPod or iPhone. If you're still having problems, you might want to see an Apple service provider for a possible hardware issue. Thanks for listening and hopefully this solved your problem.